professor. I knew I could count on you. Manuela ran off with Yuritsa's mask? Hmm. We'll have to speak with both of them. But where could Manuela be? Yuritsa is likely at the training grounds, or in his quarters on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. Manuela ran... Hmm. Yuritsa is... Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you called me here. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's quite hot. Yes. Wow. Yes. Much more meticulous than I would have guessed. Yes. Hmm? Wow. That's Come now. Come now. What do you think? Wow. I don't fuss with makeup all that much, but I do take excellent care of my hair. Professor? <laughs> Is something on your mind? Really? I don't fuss with makeup all that much, but I do take a... It smells delicious. Thank you for the treat. This was fun. I hope you'll invite me again. No. Hey there. Hey. Are you sure you want my help cooking? 
Might be better off just eating it raw. I can't believe it. The recipe calls for a pinch. That's not an amount. This is exactly the meal I've been craving. All this needs is the right drink to go with it. Tasty. I've eaten many meals in my time, but this is divine. Why are we seated beside each other? I cannot enjoy my food with you sitting here. Just shut up and eat. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste.
Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Let us eat. Voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. Tra la 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 la, sing out over peaks, ring out over valleys. Let my lovely voice echo through the streets and alleys. All that studying has paid dividends. Thanks to you. I still have much to learn. I could do as much in my sleep. Bear fruit at last. I could do as much in my sleep. Thanks for the tips. Thanks for the tips. Thanks for the tips. Couldn't have done it alone. Who am I to turn down praise? You make this stuff seem easy. Brings back memories. Couldn't have done it alone. Your guidance was greatly useful. I have understanding. You are giving me praise? I will get more soon. Working hard. Easier 
faster than I thought. Don't stop. Keep it coming. Professor. Constance, do you think you'll be able to work in your present condition? Let us hope that I prove no barrier to accomplishing our given task. Mm, indeed. Let's just get through this as best we can, shall we? A matchless accomplishment, yes? Take note, your highness. <laughs> you are most fascinating. With that attitude, I feel confident your house will be restored in no time. The battlefield has much to teach. As long as it makes me stronger. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm beginning to understand. It seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Professor Yuritsa? Are you there? He does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground. Professor Manuela! She's unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's a... What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly, give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please be careful. Does this mean Professor Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Agreed. 
The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monsters! Shall we, Professor? I never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Someone's coming. I recognize that Scython mask. It's that... That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. a bunch.
Our objective is to recover Flane. Let us hope we are not too late. Hmm. Something odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? Leave it to me. Objective is to recover Flame. Hmm. Stay focused. Sure thing. Not setting a very good example. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor? Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. The enemy is withdrawn. Let's carry them up.
They're pale and their pulses are slow. Still, I don't believe their lives are in danger. You found Flane? Where? You missed the most important part of the mission. We found her within that secret passage. The culprits were the Death Knight and... What was his name? Ah, the Flame Emperor. Sadly, they got away. All that matters is Flane's safety. Right, Professor? We will take these two to the infirmary. Professor, please inform Seteth. Whatever the circumstance, I'm glad Flane is safe. Though I'm curious to find out who that other girl is. Huh? Professor? Is that... a smile? <laughs> you look... happy. I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Anyhow, we should hurry to Seteth. He must be beside himself by now. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her in the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. 
not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Enbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Professor, you already know about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, correct? I see. In that case, allow me to fill you in. It's a large-scale mock battle between the rival houses that takes place every year. Its scale is incomparable to the mock battle we fought during the Great Tree Moon. It will take place in the vast Grander Field. That is in Empire territory to the southeast of Garrick Mach. Whichever house defeats the most opponents wins. Of course, the professors also fight alongside their respective houses. Well, usually. Professor Manuela is being prudent. She will not be participating this year. Since his longtime rival will be absent, Professor Hanneman has also declined. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Are you feeling any better, Professor Manuela? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you.
We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. So, what is it, Yuri? You had me come all this way. I need you for something. Have a seat. I won't take much of your time. Okay... My apologies for keeping you waiting. Here you are. Oh, wow! Did you make this yourself? I may not seem like much of a chef, but I know a thing or two about cooking. Looks tasty, hmm? Can I, uh, eat it now? I'm famished after all the training. Have that? That's why I asked you here. I see. Well, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mm, this dish is divine. The first bite just melts in your mouth, and these vegetables are perfect. The flavors are interwoven together like... Like a dance of swords between two Myrmidons. <laughs> Calm yourself, Ingrid. I'm in no need of a critique. I just want you to enjoy it and take a load off. Aw, thank you. I will. <sighs> that was delicious, Yuri. I cannot thank you enough. I'm glad. Then it was worth all the toil that went into preparing it. You haven't eaten anything for yourself? I figured I'd eat something a bit later. I didn't make the meal for me. You cooked only for me? Mm-hmm. The innkeeper provided me with some of his finest meat and told me to feed you. I figured if I was going to do it, I'd better do it right. So I popped into the kitchen and got working. That won't do at all, Yuri. Meals are meant to be shared. It seems my stomach got the better of me this time, though. And I scarfed everything before remembering that. Why bother yourself with such trivialities? The meal was a gift. Seeing you enjoy yourself like that is all the reward I need. What way is that? A bit like when you had all that meat stuffed into your cheeks at the marketplace. Like some kind of chipmunk. <laughs> I like seeing the contentment on your face when you cut loose. You do? The innkeeper couldn't have said it better. She's got a real foodie face, that one. <sighs> I'm not quite sure how to feel. <laughs> really, though. There are a few things I enjoy as much as seeing a woman indulging herself. You should consider your words before using them. Such a flirtatious comment can only invite misunderstandings. I didn't mean it that way.